Good morning, everyone. Coffee and questions time. Man, what a beautiful day. All right, let's get on to it. Don't let this thing drag out. All right, from Kristen Canfield. I hear from Kristen quite a bit. By the way, Kristen makes some beautiful signs. Kristen, uh, congratulations. You're making some gorgeous signs. I'm going to have to have an episode where I just do nothing but show. As a matter of fact, that's a good thing that I want to ask you guys. Why don't you guys send me some pictures uh, personally in my email. I'll put my email on the deal. I've got two emails now, by the way. Uh, Eric underscore Dave signs at Yahoo or uh, Eric at makeawoodsign.com. Either one, they end up the same place. So send me some pictures of your signs. I think I want to start showing signs of you guys uh, on my Coffee and Questions. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll get some, so do that. Anyway, so um, on the sign display, I see that you use eye hooks on both the top and the bottom of the signs to connect them. Uh, to connect them, do you use an S hook to attach the four separate signs together? So Kristen and I were having a, a discussion about the sign display, and um, I, I sent her some pictures of, uh, of the sign display that um, uh, when we put in dealers and stuff. So um, they don't seem to wiggle much in the video, so I wasn't sure how they are connected. Also, how do you apply a price tag as to not damage the sign? Okay, so this is how I connect the signs together, and you guys might know that already. So there's a screw eye, a screw eye, and an S hook, and then I close them up. Just take uh, needle nose pliers or whatever and close up the S hooks. That's how, if this was four or five or six signs, that's how I connect them. Back in the old days, Dad used to use key rings, and that works too. I just prefer the S hooks. Now, as far as um, attaching price, if this was a sign display in a, in a, in a store, um, I would attach uh, a price sticker and not to damage the sign. Here's the thing, guys. When you put a sign display in a store, if you're, if you're going to go that route and have a dealer network, something that we found early on when we had signs that said the Martins or the Jones or the, you know, the, uh, the Lees or whatever, we would go into that dealer maybe a month or two after and uh, some of the signs would be gone because the clerks were selling the signs right off the display. Uh, that's not the purpose of having a sign display in a store. If they sell all your signs off the, st off the display and nobody knew exactly what happened to the signs, they just kind of disappeared. So you're out a display sign. So what we used to do we would have a rubber stamp that said defect in board, do not sell. We'd stamp it right on the front of every, every display sign so that that was there so they'd be less likely to sell those signs off the display. So as far as putting a, a price tag on there and, and damaging the sign, I, you know, if anything, you want the price tag to be on there permanent so they don't sell that, that display sign right off the display. So that's just a, a tip for you guys if you're, if you're going the dealer route and you're putting sign displays in dealers. Make those signs so that they know those signs on the display are not for sale. Um, unless you want them to be, but we never did because we had, you know, a couple hundred dealers. We'd go into dealers. This was early on. We, we learned pretty early. Um, not we. Shoot, I was 11, 12 years old at the time. But Dad learned early on to always put something on there that there was a defect in it and not to sell it. Otherwise, you end up with uh, displays of five signs down to two signs. So, anyway... Hope that answers your question, Kristen. And again, you guys send me those pictures of your signs. I'd love to print them out and show them uh, on the Coffee and Questions. I think that'd be kind of cool. Everybody see different signs that people are making. I'm getting really long-winded. My wife's giving me the heave-ho here. So everybody have a great day, and we'll talk next time. Bye.